The Europa Clipper has launched. Check if on Jupiter's moon is the living conditions. The Europa Clipper space has embarked on a long journey to one of the, the moons of Jupiter, Europe. Mission will let you know more about this a world that scientists say may contain an ocean hidden under its ice a shell that, in turn, may have conditions to sustain life. To the target of the probe it is expected to arrive in April 2030. NASA's mission Europa Clipper aims to determining whether Europe the moon of Jupiter and its ocean have the necessary conditions to sustain life. Europa Clipper is the biggest NASA he built for the planetary mission. It is almost 5 meters high and weighs three and a half tons without fuel, with fuel of nearly 6 tons. After unfolding the panels the sun reaches 30 meters wide. The spacecraft launched yesterday aboard the SpaceX rocket Falcon Heavy of the Space Center. Kennedy in Florida. Originally the launch was scheduled to take place on October 10, but the mission was delayed by Hurricane Milton. After launch, NASA confirmed that the spacecraft sent a signal to the center command the mission and that its huge solar panels, designed to the capture of the faint light reaching Jupiter has been developed. Europe is one of the most promising worlds in solar system to search for extraterrestrial life, for the sake of the presence of a huge ocean hiding under the ice sheet. Although Europe is much smaller than Earth, its ocean can contain twice as much water than all the seas of our planet combined. Where there is water, there is the chance of life. However, the subsurface ocean is covered with ice with a shell thick for several or even several dozen kilometers. Europe is the fourth largest moon of Jupiter. One of its 95 known natural satellites. It is also the sixth to the size of the moon in the solar system. This ice ball is bigger than dwarf planets Pluto, but slightly smaller than Earth's moon. To the Europe's surface is cold with average temperatures of minus 170 degrees of Celsius. But thanks to the temperature coming from the inside of the moon, and oceans may be under conditions conducive to complex reactions the chemical. Analysis of data from Galileo and Cassini probes showed activity geysers on that ice moon. This was also confirmed by observations from using the Hubble Space Telescope. Researchers have noticed the appearing its and disappearing clouds, probably water vapor. The geysers are big enough their pyrophos can reach up to 200 kilometers. Moreover, studies from three years ago have been determined that at Europe may continue to smolder volcanic activity and the moon's bottom may be s dotted with volcanoes and hydrothermal vents. On Earth volcanic rocks at the bottom sea can interact with water, creating chemical reactions that they generate energy and enable the development of microorganisms. That's why this discovery fuels speculations about the possibility of microbiological life in Europe, because around Earth's hydrothermal chimneys, despite extreme conditions, are various the forms of life. During his journey, the spacecraft will defeat nearly 3 billion miles. He will use the gravity of Mars and then the Earth, in the maneuver gravitational assistance to increase your speed. Europe to reach in April 2030, and the entire mission is expected to take four years. During this time the probe 49 close flights over Europe, approaching the moon at a distance just 25 kilometers. Each time he will approach Europe over a slightly different it's an area. Eventually, a map of almost the entire surface will be drawn up the moon. Europa Clipper has nine advanced on-board scientific instruments, including high-resolution cameras for mapping moon surface, spectrograph, radar for looking under the ice sheet and magnetometer for measuring magnetic fields. It also has a thermal instrument for finding areas of warmer ice and any recent water eruptions. The purpose of the mission is to determine the structure and composition of the surface Europe and the study of the subsurface ocean, its depth, and even salting, as well as the way these two elements interact. 
Researchers want to determine whether there are three ingredients necessary for life, water, energy, and certain chemical compounds. We are not looking for life in Europe, but we are trying to see if this oceanic world is habitable, and that means we are looking for water, a NASA representative said before launch Gina Di Braccio. We are looking for energy sources and we are really looking for chemistry there, so that we can understand what habitable environments may be in all our universe, she added. Scientists hope the probe will be able to fly through one of the previously observed pyroly seas of matter ejected from geysers. This would have given the possibility of sampling the ocean under the ice. During each flight, Europa Clipper will be exposed to massive radiation from Jupiter. Most of the electronics it is in a solidly shielded glove compartment that protects it from Brittany Schmidt of Cornell University explained. The aforementioned the storage compartment is made of titanium and aluminum. Mission to $5.2 billion and involved it is about 4,000 people. 31